Hey, and here we go. We're live this March 5th, 2015. A very special episode of Flaming Freedom. We are broadcasting from the Radisson Hotel in Manchester, New Hampshire during during Liberty Forum. Were we muted? Oh, All right, I was, well, I, welcome. I saw, I saw you on the level, so I thought everything was fine. I mean, Dale I is in charge of operating the board. I boards. thought there was something wrong with my headphones. Hey, Dale. I can see you on here. Good to have you here. All right. Thanks for putting us on I there. will fix Also stuff. with us is Lauren. Hi, everyone. It's good to be here. Yeah, and we are broadcasting a very special episode from the Radisson Hotel in Manchester, New Hampshire during Liberty Forum 2015. Indeed. It's a very special event. Why are you, why are you covering your mouth, Dale? You're hiding your nope. shame? You're embarrassed? I'm, I'm ashamed of my <laughs> technical failures, that's all. It's okay. We keep on rolling. Yeah. So uh, we had a couple of uh, important show topics to get to. Um, I just got my box rocked up here in Manchester. I got to tell you, you guys got, uh, you got it way better than you we have do a, in Keene. You have a box? Yeah. Is, Women. Are you, are you trans? No. Oh. It's a box. Does a box have to be pussy? I don't know. I, I don't know how these things work. Oh, we can cuss I'm, now. I'm illiterate. We can. And Mark, Mark is having a conniption fit over here. Is, We're going to say dirty words is, on the show. Is on pussy a cussing word? No. No, it's a kitty cat. It's fine. <laughs> nice. So, no, I think uh, anyone could use the term uh, got their box rocked. It could be, uh, but it has to be like the, the female end of things. I thought a box was a female thing. I All really right. Did. Well, then I need a new term. But, well, but I'm just we saying, say boy pussy, right? Whew. Gay guys say boy pussy, and they're talking about. I mean, so you could say boy box. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, boy right. or bussy. man. I'm, I'm already lost. Do you I, can't, <laughs> I can't keep up. Have you heard guys say the term bussy? I or have boy not. pussy. No, I have not. This is the first I've ever heard of that. I kind of like it. Bussy. It's like yeah, it's a little boy insulting. Boy pussy. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we got a, a couple of show prep topics that you were explaining before we got started here. One yeah, is about here, Justin Bieber. Here's some things One that is we can about, potentially talk about. All right. Yeah. Go through I'll it. I'll run them through real quick. Yeah, yeah. One of them is that Justin Bieber is going to get roasted on Comedy Central. I think that might be an absolute disaster. Uh, I mean, it'll be funny, but Wait. I don't know what in the heck he was thinking. So he's going to be on... Uh, a the, roast. He is the recipient, the victim of a roast. On he's Comedy too young Central. for that. That's like you're supposed to be like retiring. Yeah, I, w- I, attend, I think I, th- I tend to agree. At least up, at least middle aged, probably farther. Yeah, to before you get roasted. Right. Like that was a Dean Martin thing, right? A bunch of old guys up on stage. <laughs> it's a lot of people things, but yeah, well, I mean, a lot. It's a comedian thing usually, but okay. Yeah. So Justin Bieber's gonna gonna get it his ass handed to yeah. him. By and whom? Then Who's a, the MC oh. in charge? I do not know. I don't know his name. It's a comedian, but I and I I can tell you his face. But if we played the video, then all right, we'll play we it. Would later. Know, but yeah. Um, and then there's Michael Hoffman, who's kind of a new popular guy. He's this bodybuilder who's pretty hot, and he started doing masturbation videos and stuff. Um, nice for just for money. He did some personal porns, and like he's trying to sell masturbation them videos that other people download. Yes. Okay. And it's but not just leaked. like they chatterbait or something. One of these uh, websites where people jerk off together. No, and they he don't tries pay. to sell them for like he tries to sell like a package of his masturbation videos for like. Are they that good? Two hundred fifty dollars. They're very popular. Did you just say package? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And um, so he tries to sell them for like two hundred fifty dollars. And apparently Brent Everett, who's this other porn star, is fairly well Everett, known. Everett, huh? Yeah, same last name. We're not related. Um, <laughs> he um, is fairly well known, and he's got his own big website. Uh, and he apparently <laughs> bought got a big. He website. bought these videos from Michael Hoffman. For two hundred fifty dollars, and then released them on his own website. So, uh, so that's he like bought this big someone else's property argument. Okay, so he bought someone else's porn that that person made yeah. and sold, and then he put it up on his own website. And you say this is a and made money off of it. And, okay, yeah. so some people say this is a violation of intellectual property, right? Yeah, from a legal standpoint, it probably is. I think. Well, but what do you, you think if, about if you buy if you were to buy the legal definition of like, from a moral property, standpoint? Do you think he has uh, the right to? I just think I think it was I think it was just rude. I mean, I'm not going to call it immoral. <laughs> it's rude. I mean, he he definitely like uh, when he sold in these videos, he did ne- he definitely did not do it with the intention of him uh, releasing them, making them public, and making money off of them. It was supposed to be this is for your personal. Uh, jacking off thing. Um, and <laughs> no then, one else can jack off to these. Only the yeah. person who paid for them. Really? In the digital age, it's getting harder and harder to buy that argument. Like, I can understand if you walk into a booth or something and it's just you and it's... That's a, the only way, like, really. Right? I, yeah, it's yeah. just too hard. To, it's hard to protect anything like that. I, mean, I think we're going to realize this. I think as a society, the technology is going to push us past a lot of this intellectual pop- property 
Makes no, sense. you would have thought that would have happened with the cassette tape when everyone's like, oh my God, you can record your own things on it cassette. It kind of did. It kind of did. Well, yeah. A lot of people make copied tapes. albums on the tape and do they do that? that they stuff. did that with porn too. That was uh, the yep. beginning of VHS. Or, yeah, yeah, homemade porn. Yeah, I remember in, in high school making all kinds of mixtapes and stuff, but people would make full tapes too. Like there were people who had a whole setup of like a wall of tapes just running and making tapes for people mixtape uh, porn yeah I, I, I saw this I'm you could say you where, spend but... a lot of you could spend um a thousand bucks on a on a big device that would copy about four or five cassette tapes yeah, at, at a once. time yeah yeah and that was a big deal it would just like rapidly copy a bunch of them do you record your sex i on, do not on a camera yeah or on something no. else you record audio Oh, you that's should. a great idea. I'm going to try that. <laughs> I wonder if that would be sexy. I hate listening to myself having sex. I've tried to quiet it down because I listen to it like back. And I'm a little it's, it's not a turn on for you? No, I oh. hate all the screaming, but I can't, I can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, so I, I wonder if you record yourself sometimes, Dave. Nope. No. Because, nope. I, you know, one of the things I like to do uh, just in general is record everything in life. But uh, Ian is taller than me, apparently. Wonder, Let me... Okay, <laughs> adjusting your microphone. All right, that's a little bit more comfortable. Sounds now. good. I was like craning my neck up to like reach the spot where Ian was. Okay. All right. Given mouth to the microphone. Yeah. What else do we got? Okay, so we so also have IP um, guy, gay porn Justin. for straight guys. There's oh, a channel. This one. I, Andre, I like this. Uh, used Andre to be a, a host occasionally on the yeah. show, and and hopefully he'll be on tonight at some point if he can. He's uh, he's doing something else tonight that may conflict, but he uh, used to be on the show. He pointed me at this Tumblr site called Gay Porn for Straight Guys, and you can go to our <laughs> Facebook page and our show prep. All the stuff I'm talking about is linked from our Facebook page. If you want to go check it out yourself, I don't want to try and read out the URLs and stuff. But it's a, it's a Tumblr site. And he, he, nice. this guy is, there's a straight guy. What's your Tumblr, Dale? Uh, well, there's a Flaming Freedom Tumblr. That's, okay. that's my Tumblr. That's the one I use. Is there porn on it? Yes. All right. Flaming, uh, well, flamingfreedom.tumblr.com. I don't, I don't, I'm not Just sure there's asses. a lot, but I'm going to start putting it. I'm going right. to start sharing. <laughs> if I like something, I'm going to share it on our, uh, if I like Can porn. I get control of that too? Uh, yes, I'm sure. Okay. I'm sure that would be fine. All right, and that way, if either of us sees something good, we'll we'll just share it. We'll reshare it or whatever. All right. Uh, and, yeah. So, um, and I also share the shows and things. So, if you just want another way to get to the shows, you can. Because we've said this before, and Tumblr is the best site for porn. It really is good. Yeah. It used to be you had to go around all the different websites and like see what they've got. And sometimes I know people who still have like subscriptions to other to certain websites and stuff. You don't need any of that. Tumblr can be so much more specific. I know we're going over old territory here, but like because <laughs> you, it's a social network. You can interact with other people who like the same things you do, and you can get a specific channel of uh, random kinky stuff. I don't know, whatever right. you're into. You can, you can, you can delve as things. deep as you want. You can find someone with similar tastes as you, and, and you'll probably find good stuff. Exactly. But I bet there's no lesbian porn. So this, this That might be true. <laughs> there's yeah. there is so no sorry. lesbian porn, period. It, does it not doesn't not exist. exist. It's not right. on the internet. Right. There's, um, there's women having sex with each other for the Rule benefit of Rule 34 does guys. not apply. We're going to have to make some lesbian porn. Just yes. why? porn for lesbians. I'll, I'll talk to Andre. We'll, we'll work on that. If there's a market for it, why doesn't it exist? There, there must not be a market for it, is all I can think. That's the only reason why it would not exist. Yeah. What is the reason why there's no lesbian porn? So this guy, like, real quick, oh, yeah. though, we're yeah, going to yeah. get down these topics. The gay porn for straight guys, because we'll talk about this more in depth later. I want to know. Gay porn for straight guys is a, a straight guy who likes certain types of gay porn, and he says this porn is for straight guys, and he's for real. Supposedly. So what's, what, Andre show swears me what it looks like. Can we, uh, can we access this? Yeah, or is yeah. The, just, it's, it's, um, is the hotel Wi-Fi not going to let us? Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, we, we'll get to it, oh, but not come now. Come on, click. And then um, we'll get down there. Uh, you, see, this happens whenever I try to say what we're going to talk about. Uh, we, are, we start talking about it. Uh, um, the other thing is I want to I wanted start a, uh, a, a campaign. This is the last thing. Uh, I want to start a campaign of guys telling their parents how upset they are that they were circumcised as a oh. child as an infant that could be i think that people need to share how upset they are i've done that i've had I that conversation too. with my parents how did it go awkward but it needed to be yeah. all right well flaming freedom will be back in a few minutes so stick around
Welcome back. This is Flaming Freedom, and we're live. It's a very special edition because we are at the Radisson Hotel for Liberty Forum 2015, a special event for freedom lovers, and we're talking about gay porn for straight guys. Yeah. And circumcision. Well, I want to get to the circumcision story first, because okay. I asked oh. you before we went away to break, Dale. Yes. Did you ask your parents uh, about your circumcision, and how did that conversation go? I, I, it wasn't so much asking, but the subject came up at one point when I was at my sister's house, and one of my other sisters was there as well, and my mom was there, and I just flat out said, I resent that it was done to me. I didn't say, I didn't look Who at did my mom. Who did you say it to? Well, my was mom was there. to the audience? Yes. I, I didn't like look at my mom angrily. Or anything like that. Throw um, your brow at her. But I did make it known. I very much resent that it was done to me. And uh, and she seemed very uncomfortable. Did and, she you know. give a, a southern mother gasp of like, oh, Fiddle-dee-dee. my son. She, she, she didn't say much. She, uh, she seemed a little <laughs> yeah, clenched. She faint. Yeah. She, uh, but she. Uh, okay. She, she, and I, you she, got she said it. something about, well, the doctors thought it was cleaner then or something like that. Yeah, it was something silly. Uh, you know, oh, that's it's like you like a silly, trivial reason to mutilate the genitals of an infant. You know, yeah. it's, it's so ridiculous. Ooh, hoops. Yeah. Um, so, did you have a conversation with your parents about it? About, about circumcision? circumcision? No, but I should. Um, back in the day, back so I was born with a, you know, penis, and I guess I should ask. I guess I should thank them because I wasn't circumcised. Oh, nice. I had the opportunity okay. well, to. That's cool. It's kind of funny though because like I had the opportunity to then, to then do stuff later in life to. But anyway, we won't go into the details. What? The gory details. What stuff? Did this is not like? the show you know, to I, not I, go I, into the well, gory details. I told, yeah, I've me. talked about this on other shows. About. I'm non-identifying. It, okay, it's right. it's a thing that like a lot of trans people will stand up and say I don't want to tell you what's in my pants unless we're going to yeah, have sex. Yeah, I understand. All right. It's well, we don't have to. Yeah. Funny little standard that I hold. I mean, right. But I feel very, very, it's a very standard. fortunate. To Derek and I have have, uh, have not carried that same standard for ourselves. No. But I have pre- I respect it completely. Well, yeah. Uh, uh, Derek and I have described. I'm pretty much everyone here can draw our genitalia in great detail. I think from our descriptions, right? I don't. Not yet. Uh, no. They'll get there. Oh, okay. So we will. We will do our underwear segment shortly. But um, f- so I had a conversation with my uh, parents about it separately. First, I think I emailed them. The um, Truth About Circumcision video from Stefan Molyneux, that like half an hour long one that shows an actual circumcision video happening. Uh, Have you seen that? I've seen. No. I'm not sure if I saw the same one, but I saw a video. The baby is absolutely screaming bloody murder. Yeah. And the doctor says, oh, he's he's upsetting himself. Like oh he's upsetting himself. It's not you're upsetting him because you're cutting has nothing part to do of his with body the knife off? that's on his penis. Right, that's right. He's irrelevant. upsetting himself. Yeah, he's just he's screaming. trying to calm the parents down who are being completely reasonable and going. This looks very evil. Yeah, my child is screaming in pain. I didn't realize you had to strap a baby down to a plastic thing, uh, and that they didn't use anesthetic on a lot of these babies because no, they're they too young. Don't, yeah, and they think oh they're not going to remember it. Well, they, you, you, may not you can do it. anything to a baby as long as the baby doesn't remember it, which is most anything. <laughs> well, like that, you could, you could you imagine could, if you that's could put all kinds of child abuse and sexual abuse and all kinds of stuff, but they won't remember it. So it must be fine to do all of that. Right. Yeah. Because like if you have sex with a woman and, uh, you know, rape her and drug her and she doesn't remember well, she it, she doesn't remember we, it. So it's know, not it's the really same rape. Standard. Right? We, yeah. yeah. They throw that right out of court. <laughs> so, you know. I had this conversation with my mother and father separately. They're divorced. Um, and I got to first give them the email, and they just sort of responded with some, like, oh, yeah, it was just the thing we did at the time. Um, and they both sort of admitted regretting it, which was interesting. Like, maybe they had thought about it before I brought this issue up with them, which was cool. But, like, it's not something they're going to be like, well, I think oh, the, hey, by the way. the atmosphere has changed since then. And now it, mean, the, it is questioned. Around it, the at environment? least the question has been raised yeah. about whether it should be done, uh, even if it's still a minority. Like, even if it's still basically a majority, like, the standard default thing is that they do it. But... It's, there's still like a, at least the discussion is there. At least people are talking about it. So for my dad, I think he lacks sympathy a little bit because he's like, eh, it happened to me. So, you know, it's like, it's not like he has something that I don't. So right. So that's sort of like, we're in the same boat here. We were both victims. That, that was one, that's one of the silliest reasons too, is just so it won't look different from other wieners. That was the reason my mother gave. Fuck her. She was like, <laughs> I didn't yeah. want you to look at your brother and see that, like, 
oh, why does he look different from me? I'm like, that's the worst reason I could possibly think. Conformity was the yeah. was the reason you were like, oh. Gosh, I what if you had a sister? What would happen then? <laughs> right? And yeah, I really. a sister. Sorry, we had to remove your penis because we didn't want you to look at your older sister and wonder <laughs> why she was different than you. Yeah. So yeah. that was a shitty standard. and uh, But it was a necessary conversation. I feel like it's a great idea, Dale, to have a video of men having this conversation with their parents. Um, that might would be accelerate. interesting. I didn't think about that. Uh, you're taking it to the next level, and I like that. I like the way you're thinking. Is uh, actually get people to maybe record a conversation with their parents. Mm. Like, hey, uh, I yeah. didn't like that you did this. How do you, how do you, you know, I, I, I just want to tell you that, that. I don't like that you did it, and... Um, or, or they should also thank their parents. We if they did videos of that, of them right, actually thanking. Thank you for not doing that to me. Yes. Yeah, that would I think that would be too. good as well to mix that in so it's not just all negativity. Yeah, right. You don't want to be just judgmental. Um, yeah. I would start with some, some clips from videos where, where people who were circumcised and talked to their parents and end with some clips, you know, with the music. Yeah, end on a high note. Of mm -hmm. them saying, thank you for not doing this. So I know you like <laughs> uncircumcised penises. I know you like to have sex with them. But I have to be completely honest that I do not. And I prefer okay. cut penises for sex. And I struggle with that because do you think, I mean, doesn't that mean that I would advocate someone who like turns 18, they weren't cut when they were an infant, and then they have to go through that painful surgery or something just for purely aesthetic reasons? I mean, that's kind of sick. I don't know. I wouldn't, well, I, wouldn't I don't want have a problem have with it. an 18-year-old choosing to do it. Yeah, but I wouldn't want to advocate the choice, for someone else so to do that. So that's fine. Yeah. Even though it is my preference. It's weird. Do you think... It, it must be a cultural thing. It must be because... I, that's what I wonder. If you had not... Well, if I were if raised not, in Europe or something, it would be It's such the default. And you maybe your first penises were that way. You and all porn. All porn has yeah, circumcised yeah. penises, pretty much. I like, like the East European stuff, so it usually doesn't. But <laughs> uh, What's that, Lauren? So there's, there's anesthesia that can be ap applied to adults, too, more easily and... Mm -hmm. So it, it would be less painful for yeah. adults. You, have a, you have a way to heal that, and that kind of stuff isn't used on infants. Yeah. Right. They don't feel it's necessary. To mm -hmm. See, that's the thing. Just because an infant doesn't remember it, it doesn't mean that it didn't impact them and shape them in some way. Right? The, the, uh, if, you're a, a, if a child's abused, that abuse, even at a very young age and they can't remember it, just because you can't have a conscious recollection of something that happened and repeat it back uh, in a chronological way, D distinct manner doesn't right. it, mean it didn't shape you yes and it doesn't mean it didn't change your mind too right. there might be some kind of subconscious rewire how you react to pain exactly or triggers of some sort yeah so i'm looking at your computer screen here dale and i'm seeing some nice bare ass and a huge schlong you told me to go there uh yeah i went to where you said to go gay porn for all points on the kinsey scale yeah this is the gay porn for straight guys on tumblr and it's Which, not all straight guys. I guess it's well, queer. Well, obviously, other people are looking at it. But it is presumably intended to be porn for straight guys. It's hot. I'm going to browse guy, through this. The guy who did it claims to be not into men. He's attracted to women, but he's into penises. Mm. And ass. I see a lot of nice ass over here. Yeah. Wow. And some big dicks. It's good porn. <laughs> We said Tumblr's good for porn, and this is an example. Uh, Flaming Freedom will be back, so everyone stick around. We're Thanks, here Dale. live at Flame, uh, Liberty Forum. This is pretty gay. <laughs> hey, this is Flaming Freedom, and we're having a great discussion with uh, a live audience tonight. It was very special and different. Woo! Yeah! Rock on, guys. Well, they were just having a discussion about terminology and how important words are. And uh, Dale, so, or someone suggested using the term intact rather yeah. than... Yeah, well, it's been suggested by a lot of people before. But Davey Wavy just recently did a video just this last week about it. Okay, and I was using the term circumcised, but I thought cut versus uncut was better. But we all agree Yeah, someone that said that sounds too sexy. Yeah, well, yeah. it also like it it makes does. It, it does. It does, yeah. Cut, <laughs> cut sounds like the default normal thing, and uncut sounds like a weird thing. There. And also cut is like, oh, they're chiseled. They're cut. Like, you know, it's, yeah. it's a good thing. <laughs> So, uh, so it, I wouldn't want to make not that a fan of the terminology. So myself, intact or what? Not intact or circumcised. circumcised. Intact or circumcised. It's like you've had this procedure done, uh, or and you're, you're no longer intact. And now intact sounds like a default thing, and circumcised is a procedure you had done. Right. If you know. Okay. Makes sense. Now, please get me back into this uh, 
gay porn for straight guys because uh it, it sounds fascinated. totally confusing for i'm sure for a lot of people like why like, why would a straight person watch gay porn right but oh what do i oh geez but he I, swears that he's for I'm real not, he's not kidding. it doesn't it's we, just just different i don't i don't know this i don't understand so it. gay i mean there's that no is, way that's really gay lauren is not into watching be, guys have sex with no each all right well no. you don't have to watch i'll do it which brings me to like i used to say back in what i call the before time back when i was presenting as male that i was the only straight guy in the world or that i knew of anyway huh? and the reason i would yeah the reason I would say that is because I didn't like the male parts of sex. Like, I liked women. Like, I wanted to have sex because I wanted to be with women. I know women. a guy like that, but he, was, he's, he wasn't you trans. You don't like the male but, parts of well, sex. I remember hearing, about, like, friends of mine and various people would say, like, oh, look at that porn. That's great. Look at that, that guy's dick. It's huge. It's going, it's ramming her. You know, they get all into yeah. it. And I was like, but... You, so you like big dicks, but you're, yeah. but you're, but you're, you, you're, attract, you, likes you claim big dicks. that you're attracted to women. Yeah. It's the weirdest well, thing. But you God, here's the thing though. This but is how I, I think it means. Mm-hmm. I think that they see, they need someone in that video to identify with and they need to project themselves into that huge penis. Right. And then like, oh, that's my right. penis. And so I'm for me, like, I couldn't identify I'm, with that yeah. projection. I couldn't think of myself as being that guy. Right. right. Because you identify a female. Yeah. So strange so when you were in on this search and you were not looking you were not enjoying the straight porn that you found were were you able to identify with any of the women in lesbian porn or you know we say lesbian porn doesn't exist but well there there's 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 stuff on on the internet called lesbian porn but it's actually just straight women having sex with each other that's my theory yeah for money yeah so what's the uh, what's the idea? I mean, I'm loving these pictures, Dale. But what's the idea? There really are okay. straight guys out there who whack off to gay porn, and that's uh, thing. I only know about this guy. And this guy explained it as he's like he is turned on by dicks, but he is not turned on by what they're attached to. And yet, all these videos well, are full there's of there's a guys niche of people who are very hot. Them. Like he, I don't know. Somehow he picks out some really hot guys for a straight guy to. Yeah. <laughs> He, he seems to know where to find this stuff. Um, and uh, and uh, they're all having sex with each other. There are no women in these videos. I don't know what's going on, but that's his story. Andre believes him. Andre swears that, no, this guy's for real. And I'm like... What do you think the appeal is? That they, that they can, you know... There's no harm in it, right? Like, uh, of course not. You know, they don't have to oh. talk to their buddy or, you know, when they're at the soccer game or I don't know what straight guys do, but when they're, <laughs> <laughs> they're, trying to they're do together. Like, uh, straight tropes. You know, whatever. I've seen <laughs> straight uh, porn where the, it's supposed to be straight guys who go gay and they like will be like watching the game together or whatever. That's for and gay guys, their, though. Yeah. Then that's, put, that's straight guys for gay do you think they want to do that though? Something. Are they like looking over and they're like checking out each other's package and they're like if maybe they I'll are, just they're reach over and grab straight. it? They are. They're not straight. They yeah. might be bi. You got a, you got a question? Like oh, we we have a comment from the audience. Because here. I grew up as straight, uh, I consider myself as queer because I'm, yeah. I'm I'm bisexual. So I have a perspective of being really attracted to females. That's my primary source of erotic interest. But I also find aspects of male body to be interesting and so this site is actually you know i I think what this guy is is this site is about is gay sex for bisexual men okay Mm. and to me the difference between bisexual and straight and gay is that a gay man will find a man's face and whole body and whole aspect to be eroticized whereas a uh, a, a bisexual man who's mostly straight will enjoy, you know, the man's genitals and the sexual activity, but the man's face, you know, and other aspects of his masculinity don't hold an erotic interest to them. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That's, I, I, that's, 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 that's totally valid. I hmm. think that's totally valid to, like, be into certain things and not other things. I mean, it, it's it just... I mean, some people would look at, the, would see, would hear that and say that seems very shallow. That you're just into genitals. Well, and you but don't I think that's a generalization for a lot of men, though, because I don't want to. I'm not saying that. I'm saying I can see how some people would do that. What? Like in a lot of, I think it's straight porn. Like they don't show the male face at all. Like, yeah, what's and, with like, that? And, oh, and you part of, and down. also like the the lesbian porn that's not actually lesbian porn. What yeah. ha- what happens is they show a lot of close-ups of genitals or some or or like 
like an, a, you know, a whole lot of being fingering really vigorous and with them. Yeah, but it's like all up close. It's not about like like when, so when I say there's no lesbian porn, it's there's no like face to face interaction. It's not like it's not like they're you know connecting right. it's right and, yeah and that's no and that's there. why i even take you know it's a e, e, i have to take I, a personal I, I day to relate to that you even know? as someone who i'm not into i'm not I'm gay obviously so i'm not into female bodies obviously. but even then i'm looking at that and going i don't understand the eroticism of this even if i were into female bodies mm-hmm. i would not want them going i don't you know, know what that means <laughs> With the genitals. I can see what okay. Paul, lady parts. So Paul, our, our guest from the audience who just uh, spoke up here, I can see what he's saying uh, sort of played out in that this That guy has porn. the monster logo on his ass. Yeah. Tattooed. I, guess, I hope he got money for that. I, I was going to say, I hope they paid him. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, he is really fucking... Uh, so, but they don't have any pictures of their faces here. It's lots of dicks, lots of ass, but no... Uh, Some of them have and, faces. And, and other body parts, some feet, but you really can't uh, see their, their faces. And I think what Paul said is probably very true. Like, um, you know, it's a focus on the generals. So, hmm. all right, and, and gay porn for They're straight all guys. in very it's good shape, thing. too. That's I mean, true. I think that it's like you d- if you want to project yourself into the person, like they're all oh, right. really well, healthy and yeah, attractive. No, f- no fatties here. I was gonna say, yeah, he, like they're I said, all, he picked they're out all... some very good-looking men. I did. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Yeah. I, for a straight guy. <laughs> wow. All right. Sorry. I'm. This uh, is a lot for me to handle. Yeah, well, I wonder what he feels about all this cum too, because there's a I lot. Think, of I feel like we this. wear Lauren out for about three weeks each show, and she's like, hey, I gotta. I go. I <laughs> I'll I come can't. back in a few weeks, guys. But this that was too much. What about cum? Is that uh, is that eroticized as well? Because females don't really cum, right? So I mean, it, it correct varies. me if I'm wrong. Here, yeah. but I okay. don't know for this guy if he if he does or not. Yeah, I don't know. Well, it seems to me like it should not be, if if uh, what Paul is saying is correct. Well, you saw about that just a moment ago, though. You just saw. Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, he was sucking dick, and the, the cum was dribbling down his. There was chin. a lot of it. So this guy <laughs> and this guy's this is the stuff this guy picked out. So there you All go. Right. Well, this is stuff that I would pick out. So gay porn <laughs> for straight guys, uh, I will subscribe. And I guess a lot of this will be reblogged at our Tumblr, flamingfreedom.tumblr.com. Uh, is that what it is? Maybe? All right. I can't remember now. We'll put it in the we'll show have notes. To, yeah, we'll put it in the, yeah. the show notes. So what about um, Justin Bieber? I He's know having a roast on Comedy Central. Okay. They are roasting Justin Bieber, a bunch of comedians. You know, there there are it, people who actually think he's a lesbian. That's or shooting some, fish in yes, a barrel. Yes, there's a who, whole website yeah. d- dedicated to lesbians that look like Justin Bieber. And yeah. people think that, like, Justin Bieber used to be a boy who got a sex change and is now a lesbian female. That's oh. ridiculous. That's like a real thing. He's actually, actually beefed up now. He looks more mature. Yeah. He, he, I mean, the, the, if you look, look at a recent if picture. you looked at the video that uh, so, this video, they're throwing eggs at his naked chest and stuff. Not I want to be gay. This is something else. Right? Is, is he gay? Is that what's it's going on? A little on? bit further down. He should be. All right. I guess we can uh, dis- discuss that in the next segment. I hope. All right. So. We'll be back. This is Flaming Freedom. Justin Bieber. Oh, this music keeps going. Welcome back. And now it's time for my favorite part of the show, underwear segment shine. Oh, dear. So, Lauren, let's see what kind of I, kinky, fun underwear Well, I'm got. not, like, I I just have a tank top on. I'm not wearing a bra, Come so on. I can't, I, I don't want to, It's I It's fine. All right, Dale. You want, you I, gonna, can, I can... You're not gonna bottoms. leave me alone. I don't know. Come I'm on, gonna, it's the same underwear. Yeah, it's the same. <laughs> I wear on, the same Dale. underwear like every day. Do it. All right. So here we've got our camera over here. This is for them. Oh. All right. And I let's, wore something special let's, tonight. Let's describe here. this to the podcast We're listeners. It it's a. Uh, oh my. Check these out. Oh, that's Aren't really these cute. So cute. Here, I like it. Check these out. Aw. Uh, yeah. Oh uh, right? yeah. That's 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 pretty cool. Yeah. These I are, really these like are those. for swimming. That's that's actually what. Where'd you for. get them? I, can I get a pair? Oh right, yeah, you can get these online. I don't know, I got them from China. Cool. Anyway, so that's our underwear segment. I hope that all of you audio listeners enjoyed that. Wow. And uh, Dale, I promise I'm going to send you some kinky underwear for the next episode. We're going to do it so that so that you don't regret this segment. All this right, is something I'll we're going to keep doing. Show. I'm going to train you. I'll wear it for the show. Thank you. 
Hmm. I'm just I'm practicing I'm practicing my alternative lifestyle of uh, uni uni amory. What is that? It's just me. <laughs> it's like not it's opposite. It's, it's different from polyamory. Did you, did you right? come up with that term yourself? Yeah. You, wow, I love it. Is that okay? Yeah, it's We're, great. Okay. And that uh, brings us to uh, the Kinsey well, you, scale, I don't know, right? What do you call, well, I have my cat too. We don't have sex. Whoa. <laughs> I love her very much, though. I love her. What is we your cat's name? Lot. We cut a lot. Kaya. Okay. Yep. It's that Japanese for something that sounds like it means something. Uh, no. Um, Kaya. You know, this is crazy. Can I tell you a little quick story? I'll try to keep it real quick. Yeah. Um, I had a, a uh, in a D and D game I played. <laughs> I had a griffin named Kaya. And then I found this cat, and I picked her out, and I said, I want this one. What, and, and they told me her name is Kaya. Oh. It was spelled differently, and I changed the spelling. Wow. It was fate. Boy, it, great story, Dale. She, <laughs> I kept it short. Is she what? All right, talk about <laughs> sex again. What, what? Wieners and cum and circumcision. <laughs> there you go. And gay now we're talking. straight guys. Now we're talking. T- bring me to Justin Bieber here, okay? You All told right. me he buffed up. He's sexy now. He is. He doesn't look like a little lesbian some, anymore. He put some meat on. He doesn't quite look like a. He doesn't look like a th- fourteen-year-old anymore. Oh, hot! Yeah. All right. His chest yeah, hit, is built up. Yeah. His, hit his play. Arms. You'll see. Yeah. Nice. All yeah. right. And I guess we'll link to this in the show notes. Whoa! What's that tummy? What's that uh, about? That's Ew. the comedian is gonna. I think that's the guy that. Oh, this is a, like a Saturday Night Live thing. Right? Yeah. Okay. So it's some gross comedian trying to be a girl. And uh, <laughs> a very, he's not even shaven. A very hideous so one. Yeah, yeah he's not. Jason. Well, um, Justin's abs are not quite wow. as ripped as they once were. No, he's put on meat, some meat. But uh, you but know. they didn't need he to looks, be that he ripped. Looks, he looks like an adult now. Yeah, he, he like does a, look a, like an adult finally. He doesn't look like a fourteen-year-old anymore. Yeah, which is very upsetting to to uh, Neil. But you know, <laughs> what is Neil into the no, really young? It twinks? is. It's. I mean, that was like his his identity. It was his lesbian. Look, he yeah. needed to get over that. I'm sure I'm he did. He's finally grown it. up. He's like on par with uh, Justin Timberlake now. He's like at the same age range where he's like, I'm an adult. I'm going to do. Uh, well, yeah, just not anywhere near as likable as Justin Timberlake, though. Well, I mean, no. I mean, uh, beyond looks. But, I mean, wow, he that looks, body. He's cute. He's a sexy guy. But it, it just knowing who he is as a person just makes him a lot less sexy. You know, I mean. <laughs> All right, so there's going to be a roast of him. Is that the story? Yeah, <laughs> but don't you think it's going to be just? Uh, it's normally you roast someone and you exaggerate all the hell and back and you make jokes. Like, you don't have to exaggerate with Justin <laughs> Bieber. Like whatever they say is going to be for real, and I just feel like it's going to be very painful mm. because of that. Because he's just ripe for this kind of thing. I mean, I guess he's trying to have them, a sense of humor about all of this stuff. Well, I saw them throwing eggs at him in the ad. That there was like a slow mo of eggs hitting and breaking his uh, sexy body. Yeah. But yeah. I think that was a play on, didn't he throw eggs at one of his neighbor's houses? Or this was a ledge. Oh, maybe, yeah. yeah. I think I heard something about that. Well, so they can, they can pick on him for that, that he threw eggs at his neighbor's house. But I think those charges were dropped. I think the, the neighbor was like making stuff up, tried to make some new oh. story, make themselves famous. Well, but he, but there's stuff he definitely did, like peeing into a peeing into a bucket, a, a at bucket. A restaurant. Yeah, he was arrested uh, in Florida. Spitting for something. on Who hasn't his fans. Done that, though? He spit off of a balcony onto fans and at on on the ground. Like that spitting was caught on, fans. on video and camera. He was leaning over a balcony, spitting on his fans. Were they asking I mean, him to? I mean, maybe it's no. keep Central. celebrities away from balconies. There's never anything good. It's <laughs> always <laughs> Don't give him any babies to <laughs> yeah, handle. Right? Yeah. All right. So I want to know. That's Justin Bieber. We wrap that up. What else? What else you got here? What's this? Uh, gay guy pr- produces uh, hand okay. job porn. Right. So this is guy. He, and I, it's an IP battle now. Essentially, it's uh, it's it gets into that. I mean, I don't know if he's actually taking him to court. He's mostly just whining about it on his YouTube channel. So there's this guy. He's totally straight, but he does these like masturbation videos. Does he? He just does that for money because he's like, yeah. I could jack off, record it, and make hundreds of dollars. Yeah, wow. like he typically sells. Why it are we not all doing this on yeah, a one to one basis? Yeah, well, I guess you got to have a really big dick. If someone or would give me that, what's what's special hmm. about him. It, He's he's he's, he's ripped, ripped and, 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 oh, and very cute, very good right, looking. Right. He's just That's a really good looking guy. Get paid to do it. Uh, he's got cool tattoos and everything. Oh. Um, he's he's a bodybuilder. Uh, I think well, tattoos. Are I think he's upset too because he's kind of more famous, right? Like Brent Everett made him more famous, and he didn't want to be that famous as a masturbating guy. 
<laughs> right? And yeah. so that's what I'm he says it's for. hurting him for work and hey, stuff. Mom and Dad. He goes and applies for a job and they and recognize And they're like, hey, you're like, the masturbating guy. Yeah. We've well, seen you somewhere. Who like masturbated and then ate your own cum and everything. He does? Yeah. Wow. Huh. All um, right. That's why he gets paid the big bucks. <laughs> oh, come on. Is it that big a deal? Really? Well, yeah. It's. I think it's special. You haven't it's done niche. that for your boyfriend or something? I mean. I've eaten lots of cum, but I'm not, uh, I'm not into jerking off into my own mouth. That's you wouldn't do that for your boyfriend or something? If he oh. wanted me to, I okay. guess so. I thought every guy, guy, a gay guy had done that. Yeah, we've done it. I, I've oh, done man. it. Don't All get right. me wrong. Right. But it's like... Right. Do, you, do you aim it? How does that work? Yeah, you aim it. Or you, you aim it as best you can. There after Anything you else it. is just gravy. Okay. Anything that doesn't land in your mouth, it's just all over your face, and it's sort of just like... Uh, you do a selfie. <laughs> That's a good opportunity for a <laughs> selfie. Okay. Put it on Grinder. That's know. what you want to see. Probably not. I don't think Grinder would flag no, that. No, they would. But yeah, they would. No, it just has to be of your face. doesn't matter if there's... Yeah, how do they know it. what it is? Uh, yeah, you could say, oh, I spilled some who conditioner. Does, who, who does um, rate the Grinder photos? Not rate them, but they, right. they go through filter them. Filter them. Whoever filters Who them. Who filters yeah. them? Because they do check. Like, I've had you some where it's my bare ass. You can't do shirtless ones now anymore, can you? You can't. Yeah, you can do shirtless. Oh, you can do shirtless? Yeah. Oh, you, okay. you could always do shirtless, but it can't be just you and your underwear. So I like. Uh, okay. So I had, like, my, my pants down a little bit, like, untied. My underwear's showing, but my pants are on, and I'm shirtless. And this, this makes it through. But you can but, wear shorts. Can you wear Daisy Dukes? Yeah, probably. There they, you go. I, yeah, I've seen just seen wear Daisy Dukes. Do. So anyway, I'm just wondering: is there a guy on the other end who's like, "Nope, that's a dick. Nope, that's a, another I dick." Yes, and it uh, just keeps, you know, telling these people they can't uh, use their profile picture or whatever. Do you use Grinder, Lauren? No, I is it Tinder? is it like is it like Tinder but for gay yeah, yeah. men? I think it came first. It, I think it came first too. Yeah, yeah. I, I've been hearing about it for quite a few years. It might be no way. It wouldn't crowd filter because then they would want the dicks. It has to be the enemy because they're keeping the dicks away. Can we start an alternative? Well, an alternative with to dicks gr to grinder. It's okay. No, it's good this way because I want to see faces. Like I want to know who I'm about to hook you up with. You don't want to see dick pics on. Grindr. Oh my god, I hate it. And the guy I just hooked up with had no picture, which is the worst. So you're supposed to. You're supposed to like. You know, at least send some picture along. I, like he sent a picture along before we met. Back when I was doing like web dating, like early on, uh, like web dating, there wasn't phones for it, but just getting on websites for it. Uh, and there were like gay dating dating sites online. And when I was first doing those, I put in my profile: if you send me a dick pic, I am no longer interested in you, fucker. You. Why would you do that? Because it. It was just I didn't understand. I don't. I didn't. Yeah, care. you didn't understand. I said I don't care about it. I don't want to see it. It's well, not then relevant. What is the end game here? As obviously, I, to get it the just dick. seemed like this. Like you're, uh, you're not. We're not on the same wavelength. No, if you're, you're not. sending me dick pics. No. And I, I guess I'm. I guess I was like a woman in that Shame respect. Shame on like, you, Dale. That's a. Isn't that like the end of it? Like if you're on Tinder yeah, you're and like, you send a dick pic, like that's it. You're not gonna go out with that woman now. Like you just. Uh, no woman is. How many women are gonna want to see your dick pic? I mean, it depends I don't know. on the dick. But I, I just said something to me. me. I just feel like, like, like a, you need to appeal to me with something else is what I was trying to say. Like that's some not going to do it. Or and, some and I don't glutes. And the other thing that would <laughs> the other thing that would kill it like the end is if you told me how big your penis was. Hmm. Why? Cuz I don't care about you that. You don't want to know cuz that's that's cuz you're an ass man. You're and just I had so a guy test me. I love I, it. I had they, it. They messaged me, I got a horse stick. Okay, let's see it. <laughs> let's see this. Let's bring it over. I, I, I'm a weird person. I don't know what to say. But I, I did. I had a guy sides. test it. I, I had a guy test, test me, and I, and I cut off communication with him. He, he well, said, good oh, for well, you. I know you say you don't you want like this, him. but I just thought I should tell you that mine is blah, blah. And I'm like, all right, bye. <laughs> what was the term you used? Unamory? Unamory. Unamory. That's why you're unamorous. <laughs> I guess so. Blame this me for your life. Yeah. Live at Liberty. Do you have a big dick? Don't show Dale. You can show it to me eventually. Just don't bring it up on the first date. Or <laughs> uh, it's got to be the 15th date or nothing. All right. This is Flaming Free. No, no, I had sex hour. on a first date. That's fine. I'm, I can have sex on a first date. I'm not that prudish. All right. But just don't tell me. Don't attract but it's, me. It's got to be after dinner or something. Don't woo me with your wiener size. That isn't going to do it for me. 
That's it's not, not enough. You need more. If you're no. you, if you're willing me with your wiener size, then I my 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 impression is you have nothing else to offer me. Plus, and you're I'm a bored. top, so they should be wooing you with their ass. If you show shape, me a picture right? of a bubble butt, that might get me. All right. We have Brett here on the show from School Sucks. Yeah, just realizing that uh, I uh, probably won't be able to repost this. <laughs> um, <laughs> Can't you put a bunch of bleeps in and stuff? Yeah, uh, not, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I mean, my audience can handle it. Little duck quacks. Wow. I'm really excited to be here. I love this show. I'm so glad it's back. <laughs> I'm so glad it's back. Thank you. You're, you're, you're such, I, 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 always, um, I always said that like Flaming Freedom could be really awesome if we like – did, if they did some of the things that you did, like care and put effort <laughs> and do research and design a good website. Yeah. Plan a, <laughs> we could have a community around it. <laughs> We're, We're getting like, there, though. Serious, School Sucks, the School Sucks podcast. Yeah. Uh, that That is an awesome show. Thank you. Very, Thank you very and, much. And on people so many need to levels. go check that. If you don't listen to very many shows, that should be in there. You should put that one in there. I just had Derek on uh, a couple Woo! weeks ago. He was great. You've got some other homotarian listeners, I know. Um, so we started this group of gay anarchists, of uh, gay anarchists, and a lot of lots of fans of school sucks in there. That's so you're so doing Derek can be more them. isolationist and uh, reclus seclusionary. What is the word? Yeah, it's cooler this. You're like, way. no, you you are denied Shh. because you're a minarchist. Oh, yeah, anything. I don't want to. What do you think about that? I mean, well, I don't know. It's cool. Well, it's cool. Yeah, like you said, I there's, a lot, wanna, of, there's a lot of websites that are. I don't want to talk to minarchists. I'm sorry. Yeah. All right. There All are right. enough anarchists enough. out there that if I can find them and talk to them. I think there should be a scale for how much government you'll accept and a scale for your gayness, right? There's a scale for your gayness. <laughs> right. I've been on the show talking about that before, right? Kinsey? Oh, Kinsey, yeah. Yeah, like, the Kinsey uh, scale. Did you sure. share where you measured up? I, I just said I was in the middle, not because I really have any oh. interest in doing it anything in real life with a guy well, we got some pictures for you here uh, i'll take a look Gay porn yeah. for straight guys yeah we'll see if this is see okay. if this does anything for you all right we'll, we'll, we'll pull it up all right i think there's a tab that oh it's closed i think this was a couple of years ago dale you were here and i said i think my concern was you know i'd be watching a porn and i would say uh oh i don't think this scene's gonna have any guys in it and right I would, what and i would skip to the next but it wasn't because like you know I mean, if the scene was it just two guys, is, though, right? <laughs> right, right. And I said, "Uh oh, I don't think this scene's going to have any girls in it." That would be yeah. a bigger problem for me, right? I think, but, but you I need wanted... a guy to project into. Uh, right? Is that what it is? is? is that Careful it? with your language there. <laughs> 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 like you have to be, you have to relate to someone in the video. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Like, where, where would I be if I were in this scene? Because that's what you're thinking, right? Like, I'm there right now doing that. You're trying to imagine that like, you're doing it. So you have to have someone in that scene that you relate to. Mm -hmm. You're either the, the guy down under there getting jizzed all over by 12 guys. Mm. Or you can or be you're that one guy. of the guys that's, I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah, you want to identify. Sorry, I'm projecting a little bit of my porn out there, but... That's fine. <laughs> I don't see any of this porn, Dale. Sorry, I lost it. That's okay. It. I mean, yeah. I, I get the idea. You can continue to try and pull it up. Uh, looks like I'm a great spread here tonight, guys. You've got some uh, candies and some stickers and some leftovers. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm just getting here now. Yeah. But uh, like I said, I'm excited to be here. So what are we talking about? Macklemore. Oh, oh, yeah, right. You have beef with him. I hate this Macklemore. Why? I think because he's just a... What what did you talked about it's a his marketing gimmick his whole his whole gay marriage but it never seems genuine to me either with he'll like actually I cried the first well, time I heard what, the song, what you I'll said about Macklemore a while back I really could relate to was that 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 he did that rap at a yeah. time when it was very safe to do he he wasn't really breaking new ground and no. being this bold artist no it was like he wasn't you know walking out against the current. He was kind of like riding the wave of popular opinion into yeah. shore. He yeah. knew that there's like this huge market of people who would be like, yeah, he's brave for talking about this and taking a stand. When in, ra when, when in reality, the public in general was getting on board with gay marriage already. Right. Yeah, exactly. So, so that's your beef with him? I, I, yeah. I, and I just think he sucks. The I, other thing, I just watched a crack video that they spoofed it. Yeah. They spoofed that. And they, and they had a guy... Uh, um, who was imitating Macklemore? Yeah, and and he, how and they brought up how he keeps pointing out that oh I'm not gay but uh, uh those guys are cool like he, he had he felt the need to like, con repeatedly separate and distance himself from the gay people and he's building the <laughs> song on gay stereotypes 
Yeah. Oh, okay. basically, you know, I can't remember the song very well, honestly. Why did he think he was gay? Because he could draw. Right. I can draw. <laughs> Right. I'm no more than a three like, on the Kinsey scale. Where in scale. the hell does that, like, three? where yeah. does anyone think that they're gay because they are they can draw? What? Yeah, does, that Dave, seems does Dave, um, the art resident artist, Dave, um, mm. Dave, Dave Dixon, yeah. Oh, yeah. does he think he's gay because he can I draw? What, no. great, <laughs> what great drawers in history were gay? Michelangelo. What, what great gays in history were drawers? <laughs> da Vinci? Some, uh, probably stuff. 10%, I'm guessing. Uh, right, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> So, yeah, I just think, uh, you know, th- that's, that has been my biggest problem with Macklemore is that he's, he's too safe, but he's masquerading as edgy when he isn't. Like, anything he's doing was done, like, that's even... He probably had a marketing so- guy say, okay, you need to do this, put this there, put this there, put this there, and then that will hit this chunk of the market and you'll get a big uh, viral thing. All they have is good beats, and that's the other, uh, Ryan Lewis. He's responsible yeah. for all that. Macklemore just shows up with his red hair. So I want to know what, what kind of uh, gay cred you've got, Brett. Mm. Uh, do, you, do you walk in with like, oh, my brother's gay or like uh, my father's gay? What do you, what do you say? Uh, I'm a little bit gay. I have a scarf. Have I own a scarf. <laughs> <laughs> he, he wants, more a, pair of, he wants more a belt and a pair of shoes that match. Wait, I dress gay? Yeah, you dress, you dress like kind of preppy. Not like totally gay. Like I wouldn't look at that guy. I wouldn't be like, oh. Brett's gay. I think I have a black belt on and brown shoes. <laughs> oh, right. that's, that's a, a fail. So that's a no-no. That goes out the window. Black and brown together. Yeah. Yeah. No-no. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Mark is showing off that he's got the same here in the audience. Black and brown shoes. Oh, that's a big no-no. That Mark. dude is know definitely. Better. That dude is definitely not gay. Oh right, and he's he's claiming that uh, because he wears a oh ring. yeah he's got a wedding ring that doesn't mean anything anymore Mark that could be a dude yeah that, I hate that know. that makes me suspicious <laughs> of anything a wedding ring you know that's on Grinder too that's one of the selections thanks you can Obama choose. <laughs> yeah <laughs> you can choose like you know your relationship status so if you're single or or um, partnered or married and they have guys on here who are married oh yeah he's cute right is I that a bun. Yeah, he's like a Princess Leia. Button. I told you last time he's got like uh, dreads or, or he's too girly for me. He's really girly. So before we move on the Mac, but beyond the Macklemore topic, too beyond. much. You know how rap wars that was like a big thing, like two rappers kind of go to war with each other. Nas. Oh and well, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So maybe I become Epic rap battles of history is what I'm thinking of. Yeah, but no, 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 no. Like you oh. know, hip hop wars. It, 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 no, easy, that I don't know. I only know Epic rap. Doctor Dre. Right. The classic. Easy E versus Dr. Dre. Let's move on That's as familiar. if I know what you're talking about. Okay, so I become a rapper, like a pale white rapper, and I go to war with Macklemore. <gasps> I love it. I'm yeah. there. And all my all my songs are Macklemore disses. That'll be awesome. I am there. I will watch that and it's, listen to that. So I tried to have a rap career, and it just it didn't get off the ground, really. No? Let's hear why, some. Why not? Are you, you going to give I us some I want to hear rap? some of your spitting. Oh, uh, see, I don't even know if it's appropriate for this show. Uh, wow. What I, w- you know, how rappers used to name themselves. <laughs> There's really not much that's inappropriate for this show. Well, I'll tell you what the problem is. Okay. It, it was bad marketing. Rappers used to name themselves like after gangsters. Like yeah. there was a rapper called Bugsy. There was a rapper called Scarface. Right. So I said, how can we up the ante? How can we go above and beyond that? You know what I mean? So I said, all right, the gangster thing is played out. Naming it after like famous mobsters. So my rap name was Bin Laden. Wow. <laughs> right? Perfect I like it. rap name. So like uh, the gangster thing is played out. Let's move up to famous terrorists. Yeah. 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 But I see you're thinking there. It didn't test well with focus groups because people said it reminded them of 9-11. <laughs> so um, <laughs> I'm shocked. I changed it to uh, Vanilla Isis. <laughs> Vanilla Isis. So that's, that's the rap name that I want, but I don't know what to rap about. I feel like it should be like kind of paranoid anti-Semitism, and I don't think uh, that's a good idea. Right? That's further than you would want to go. I, I, no, I'm there. I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll stick around for one more if you want. Yeah, yeah I'm fine us, with that. I want to hear some paranoid anti-Semitism oh, no, from, no, 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 no. from Isis. Or at least some more rap names. Hey, we're back. We're doing it again. This is Flaming Freedom. We have Brett for one more segment. Brett from School Sucks. 
And uh, I never know if it's project or podcast. What do I it's say? It's both. It's both. It's both. But what about the website? That's school That's sucks. smart marketing, Steve. Uh, both URLs. If you put school sucks project or school sucks podcast.com, they're, they're both go to the same place. Boom. Project is an umbrella under which sits the podcast. Okay. Oh, that, all right. That makes sense. And you, the project involves like uh, the, the website that has um, the community that's all there, right? And the, the Facebook page yeah, and everything. I'll tell you a quick story. I, I originally started the website and it was called Edulution. And I thought the podcast would be like one thing we did under a much wider umbrella that would eventually incorporate, you know, more things. And when I got my first webmaster, he said, no, you have to have this. You have to have school sucks in the domain name. Right, so the podcast was just originally supposed to be a part of something larger, but it all became school. Sucks. Okay, it's just a branding thing yeah. via the webmaster. Yeah, I was just it, listening okay. to uh, you, you and Wes Bertrand and Carlos Morales uh, talking, arguing with, ganging up on um, Thaddeus, Thaddeus Russell. Russell. Yeah, yes, about his um, rejecting capital T truth. Yeah, and yeah. I kind of was taking Russell's side, actually. Really? Yeah. He, I felt like you guys kept missing his points that he was making. Thad, well, that was, uh, that was a mess. Some, he that, said some ridiculous things every now and then, like, oh, yeah, a prisoner can walk through the wall. And I'm like, ah, that's a bad example. <laughs> he's kind of a troll. But I know but what he's trying to say. It's actually to say. a lot of his cultural criticisms that really made me hate Macklemore. Um, mm. He wrote an article about Macklemore and Lord and how they were, like, encouraging people to be poor. You know, like Macklemore with his whole oh yeah thrift thrift, mm. thrift shop song yeah. and and Lords with her like oh we'll never be royals yeah sort yeah. of mentality yeah so that that it's kind of like this uh, prescription that elites give to people it was a little far fetched but you know I started thinking I read the article and I'm like man that Macklemore does suck yeah <laughs> and then I started True. thinking about it a little yeah. more. But uh, that's yeah, one thing I do like about the the rap battles of the '90s and early aughts is that they emphasized how rich they were. I mean, that's still really common, but it was like I came up from the hood is yeah. the general message that they're like, and now I got Benzes and I got hoes and look at all these, and things. they're unashamed of it. Yeah, they're like, like they're I, proud of it. Yeah, and um, they should be. I mean, right, look at right. all that they accomplished. You accomplish something, you should be proud of it. And uh, so much, there's so much manipulation of. Uh, ma- making people feel guilty. Yeah, you know, it, I mean that's. I I really agree with what Derek's saying, though. I mean, if I really hit it big, the first two things I would get were like stacks of cash. I'd go to the bank, <laughs> get stacks of cash, <laughs> and then get a wind machine, <laughs> and then a video camera, and I would just do my own little. I turn on the the wind machine and just have the cash blowing around, and I film myself. I would finally buy a later. flashlight, and let's see, a flashlight. Well, what? I'm trying to think my luxury items would be a flashlight. What about those ones? Did you see those ones in the chat room people were sending us? Those dragon dildos? What was those that? Those things terrify me. I can't even imagine. Like, the little butt pluggy things are challenging enough. Have I you mean, seen these? I thought they were, like, you know, the next big thing. I thought everyone has seen them. I'm, the, I'm always the last kid at the lunch table to get the jokes or something. But this is, no, these are, like, huge dragon dicks. Um, they must be several feet long. They're, okay. There's something called the griffin, which is, like, it's not particularly long. It's only about that tall, but like it, it's like that. It's but like you don't it's fuck like that any big around. It's like that big around at the base. If people can see on the camera, it's it's that big around at the base, and it tapers really to a tiny little point, and it's weird shaped like a animalistic griffin, you know. This is an emerging uh, genre in uh, <laughs> in adult. Uh, it, no, like on those tube sites. Those tube sites. You know the tube sites that are organized by category. Yeah, um, like X tube. Yeah, yeah, these okay. girls are really challenging each other to take the biggest uh, dildo. I mean, is that something you're into? And guys, no, too. no, I no. I can show you some videos of what guys are you taking some things that you would not think would be anatomically possible. Exactly, yeah. we that's did it. last week. That's yes. it. And yes. like how far things can go yes. into places that you didn't think were that deep <laughs> is another one. Yes, I saw a tentacle, uh, a tentacle dildo. It yeah. was like it was. It wasn't real thick. I mean, the biggest, the thickest part was like that, at the base. But it was about three feet long. Holy! And man. it went all the way in to an ass. Do you think it? But it no, must no, start no, to no, wind no. around. No, it's not. That's no. not how it works. It no. goes into other stuff. If it's three feet long, it goes into other stuff too. What's like, it going what into? Is other stuff. You in can't there. just extend your ass like up into your neck. You know? Well, your colon, I imagine they're kind of like the colon that snakes in there. It's got that. Like colon. Yes, you do. You, oh, my goodness. Your 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 digestive system. If you put it in a straight line, 
it'd be like over 30 feet long. Right. So they're, if they're only at three but feet, they there's have, a ways to go. They have to be shifting stuff around, right? They're yeah. moving their internal organs yeah. around. They're straightening out their colon to take oh, some of those things. Yeah. So their colon, which is normally like a, a question mark shape, yeah. is an exclamation point all of a sudden. And yeah. everything is – all the organs have to be shifted around for that. So it can't be – it can't really be right. It can't be – That makes it so much easier to poop. Using really? those huge dildos? Oh, yeah. Are you, are you kidding me? How, how could you think that that wouldn't be the case? Oh, I my think, goodness. You start to open would, that I think you'd have up. trouble, like, getting pressure to, like, get stuff out because everything's all stretched out. And, I, I, I mean, I thought – I've heard people say, well, they're not going to take a solid poop for a week. If your digestive what? track, your entire digestive track was a straight line, man, pooping would be a breeze. It yeah, would just fall out. True. You'd uh, eat an M&M and it would go clunk <laughs> right on the floor. Yeah, but not anywhere near you. <laughs> What? Just what? Far away? Right underneath you. It's 30 feet long. It would be like two rooms away. Oh, right? I, I, okay. You could hang it out the window like you do with those air conditioners. You know? I want to yeah, know human what you are into. You we, could. Don't ha- we don't have you for that much longer. And you dodged my question. Oh, I was sorry. like, are you into huge dildo videos? And you said no. No, no. But what are you into? Like, narrow it down a little bit. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm pretty vanilla. I'm a pretty regular guy. What guy stuff are you into? Like, you big said you're a three on the Kinsey big scale. Dicks. Oh no, no, no! What you like, big dicks? No, but I mean, I well, I would be upset. Okay, sure. First of all, the a, a, a porn scene. If I'm going to masturbate to it, has to have a guy in it. Yeah, okay. Now, if the scene says something like "hot girl fucked by guy with big dick," as they all like to say, yeah, and the guy is just average. That's a outrage. Yeah, yes, that's I a agree. Real turn off. I they use the word a little bit. They use monster cock a little bit uh, um, loosely. They do. Hear, you know, if I hear monster, I'm expecting, mo- you know. But Dale, you're not even, you don't want to see monster dick. No, no, but I just don't like lies. And I don't like false <laughs> advertising. And you're like, if the guy oh does have God. one, you're like, what else does he really have to offer? Right. right? I right. wouldn't respond well, to him you on know. Grindr. So, but nothing in college? No uh, hooking up with other Oh, no, I've guys? never done anything with a guy. No. All right. I will let me. Uh, no, I've never done anything what, with no a girl. No threesomes either. that involved a guy, another guy. Yes, Do we, we've already talked about this, haven't we? Oh, not me. The closest I've. Oh, go ahead. Uh, I was in a situation. I think I was a senior. It was like between senior year in high school, freshman year in college. This girl at a party wanted to hook up with me, and we were at this house of these college guys. So we went up to a bedroom, and these guys were like, uh, they used to do parties where they would all slip and slide around on trash bags, and Chris, they were weird. Um, that sounds I hot. think that's were weird. they naked? No, but they were like cr- gross college guys hanging around with high school hey. kids. So when me and this girl went upstairs to their lair, they thought that oh. was an invitation for all th- th- the two of them and oh, me oh. and her. So they just came up into the room and, and started taking their clothes off. Whoa! And then this music started. Wait, we're <laughs> almost out of time. Show us your underwear. <laughs> oh, underwear. All right. Brett's gonna take it off. Oh, that's got paisley. What is that? We've got, uh, here, let's see. Pose for the camera here. What have we got? Dale has on Navy underwear. I've got on uh, whatever. And (laughs) Brett has snowflakes. Welcome back, folks. This is Flaming Freedom Live at Liberty Forum with Delbert, Derek J. And Lauren. Yay. And it feels really good to take a shit after you get fucked in the ass. I'll just tell you that. Yeah? I, yeah, I did that earlier, and uh, it, I recommend it to everyone. Even if you can't uh, get fucked in the ass, you should dildo yourself a little bit. Just try it out. I guarantee you can't go wrong. You know what? That reminds me. I just watched a Davey Wavy video, and it was excellent marketing because it was called Straight Guy Bottoms for the first time. And uh, had this cute guy who was a sexy guy who was Did he totally take a straight. dick or a dildo? No, no. It was it a was vibrator. A, it was, a, it was yeah, a, a small yeah, vibrator. A small basically. vibrator. Basically, it was a, basically a, a straight guy experiencing some kind of some anal kind stimulation. Some kind of anal stimulation. Yeah. Right. Yeah, okay. And uh, he immediately responded. And it was like this vibrating and liked thing. It. And I saw it and everything. I'm like, I, I've never done a vibrating anything. No. And I kind of want to now. You oh, should. Yeah. You really yeah. should. Like prostate stimulating, oh, vibrating yeah. thing. I highly recommend it. Yeah. Totally but it's not that. very big. It's not like this big honking. It doesn't need it's to be It's not the big. griffin dick no, or the I dragon want... dick. It's like a little 
thing. It's like the bulb like that big and a little skinny. Exactly. Yeah. At the Sex, Lies, and Anarchy party last year, I think it was at Liberty Forum, oh, I yes, won we a gave vibrator. Out, yes, we gave out vibrators. Yeah. Oh, man. I'll tell you. I <laughs> oh, I'm so upset that I missed that. Yeah, I'm sorry you missed oh, that I too. I should have saved you one. Because uh, those vibrators, they didn't have to be very big. I think they were for women, so it didn't really you know, do the same thing for me. But um, it does vibrate. They do different pulsing sensations. Yeah, and I got off like n- never before. So, yeah, you should definitely try the, the vibrating stuff. It makes the a one big I difference. saw that's now on my wish list um, because David Wade did such a great, great marketing so job. where are we going to put this list? It's designed specifically for prostate stimulation in guys. Yeah. There are listeners who are in the chat room who could contribute to they your ha- masturbatory <laughs> efforts here uh, for your unamory my unamory love lifestyle. Yeah, my unamorous lifestyle. So support Dale. His wish list is on Amazon at oh, I'll, don't oh. show me big dicks dot <laughs> Amazon dot com. I, that's a good I I'll have to make something and put it up. I yeah, I will I'll do something. Okay. And Lauren, earlier you were saying you don't know what you are. You don't know what you are what. Well, we were talking somebody was saying in the audience, oh, you know, or Dale, you were calling me a lesbian and I I don't know. I don't know what I am. Well, how, you don't how feel is like that a lesbian? Accurate, You're a woman though. who's into I'm women. Just, I'm that's just sexual. I'm sexual. Like that's, that's, sort that's of all like, you need. You that's say sort of that, but then you also say was... like the, the guys don't do anything for you. Yeah. Well, it's a generalization. Okay. Huh? Yeah. I think so if you can say it's generally, a quandary. Would you if you not can say want... generally, then the term applies. So right. what if a guy right. started making advances at you, um, non-physical, uh, mm-hmm. but you could tell he had romantic interests? Would you lead him on, or would that be like uh, not, oh, not a welcome to, invitation? Not to sex. No, certainly not. Okay. But if he was a nice person, I mean, we could spend time together. So, but I wouldn't want to lead him along and then heart, you know, have him be heartbroken later on. So then, different question. What if same guy gives no romantic uh, interest shown verbally, but is purely physical, got his hands all over you. And why does he have his hands on me? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> well, he's, he's stimulating Let me your explain nipples about guys and women. Yeah. How does it work? Yeah, tell they're us, into women. Usually. Guys. So no, yeah. see, you, you were like, why does he have his hands all over? Yeah. Me? Cause <laughs> he wants to touch you. Oh, okay. <laughs> and he's a heterosexual so, man, but you, you could welcome that. Is that something that you would be down for? When you say you're it's just sexual, never happened. it's just general. I'm, I, yeah, I'm accepting of all things all right. sexual. It just, it's just doesn't happen. How's you expect it to happen if you're going to shut them down at the verbal stage? Because most guys are nice and want to say words to you before they start putting their hands on you. Well, I, I, I'm more interested in women, though. Okay. Generally. All right. Where do you find women? I don't know. You, like, you guys don't know. Clearly, Dale. Uh, there wrong, are gay bars. Wrong don't people they go to, to ask. Don't they go to gay bars though? <laughs> bookstores. Bookstores. Lesbian there you go. bookstores. Is yeah, that? There you thing? go. Is you know what it is? Actually, I, I can't remember where I heard this, but they're all in Vermont. They're yeah. Just, you just have to cross yeah. the Connecticut River. I don't know if you want those lesbians. Though. They don't shave their armpits there. Yeah, they're what? pretty granola. No, whatever. <laughs> I, I told you, I'm I'm accepting of all, all right. things. <laughs> okay. Well, good. Um, yeah, I wanted to share. I, I sort of touched on this before, but the Grinder game here in Manchester is way better than Keen. Uh, as soon as I got here, I got up on Grinder. Since we've been on the show, I started. I've got eight messages here. Hello, sup? Yeah, well, that should Hi, be obvious, handsome. just from the population difference. And yeah, but I mean, I'm sitting in. How long I've been in Keen? You know, I, don't, I think areas get tired out like i've heard this from other people you've in used cities. them all up Derek. Mm-hmm. You've, you know you threw right. them out <laughs> used them up like condoms and <laughs> threw them out used and filled with semen and you know yeah it is kind of like that and you can only do so many kinky things in a small area before people are like oh no that's the chastity guy or whatever you know like i think the word has spread <laughs> just own a it bit. just own it i do but yeah it's like i think it's a turnoff for other people like i fucked this one guy um or he he fucked me and i was in chastity at the time um, what is chastity? <laughs> it's a cage around your dick. So, so that you can't get an erection or ejaculate. It's um, total yeah, arousal prevention. Um, that was it sounds terrible. <laughs> Why would you want to prevent arousal? We um, talked about this on a previous show. Yes. But yeah, I, yeah. I understand that it's, you're confused. It's as part of a master slave relationship, and it's a way like that. I've, I've well, tried a, to research this. And uh, I just can't. Well, here's can't the thing. Exercise control when you cannot, when you're denied the. Uh, ejaculation, for instance, or stimulation for a period of time, you achieve a heightened state of arousal and stay there. So that's kind of 
cool. Yeah, that's, that's true. And I've, nice. I've discovered but it that for, my, for myself, also. but not, yeah. not by choice. <laughs> right, yeah. right. It, it is, is challenging, but mm-hmm. it can also be kind of uh, an amazing headspace to be where you're like in a heightened state of arousal. And okay. Dale, you actually shared on the Flaming Freedom Facebook page a guide to finding your own chastity devices. If you're new to this yes. or if you're experienced, if you've measured yourself, uh, all different things that go into it. But anyway... Like, I could tell when we met up, it was like, okay, this is going to be a, a, he has a nice face, nice body, we're, we're compatible, and like, I think he just sort of went along with the like, all right, I'm just going to have sex with this guy and ignore that he's got this metal cage on his dick, because I never heard from him again. It was like, no. you know, and it's not like I needed to, like, whatever, big deal, some college kid. But um, yeah, I think the word spreads, and even in a city like Philadelphia, like, you get to know your neighborhood. And uh, the the people who are most pounced on on Grinder are people who are visiting. Like, oh, hey, you visiting from somewhere? Like, fresh meat. Yeah, fresh mm. meat. All the gays are like, well, I haven't seen that profile before. Let me get him. You know, this, I had an opposite experience once. Uh, th- this was this was really fascinating. I was actually in New Orleans with the Log Cabin Republicans, and we were we went to some really busy gay bar, and I was standing there, and some guy put his arms around my waist. All right. And uh, and I and I was just like, oh, and I kind of turned around, and it's a quite lovely man um a, a lovely young man and uh and he asked me if if i live where i lived and i mentioned oh la or whatever and he just went Ugh, and dropped his hands and just turned why? away why not because i wasn't local i wasn't boyfriend material oh I w- he didn't want to just have a, a one a one night stand See, that apparently makes no sense to me but i was kind of flattered by that i'm like oh he wanted me for boyfriend material that's what i want too and it sucks that i don't live here because Aww. I would probably go out with him. It's a misconnection. Did you put that yeah. up on? Uh, no, no, it wasn't because I wasn't. I didn't live there. I couldn't. Bad. That's what the yeah. guy said tonight. That's uh, one of the guy that uh, you know. I was on Grinder earlier. I was looking for someone to hook up with, and he was like, "Oh, I don't want this to just be some one-time fling or whatever." Like, do you live in the area? I was like, "I'm from Keene. It's close enough, right?" Like, <laughs> and um, I'm trying to be like, "Yeah, yeah, it could be more than a one-time thing," um, but I'm all the while in the back of my mind thinking like yeah whatever you know who, who cares <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do when you're older and it's not quite as easy to hook these guys and use them like a condom and throw them out and well he was cute i'm sure he's uh you know he's keeping up and he, i don't know I, I don't know i don't really care <laughs> <laughs> the, the, All right. the difference is he had the option to go as far or not as far as he he wanted right we we agreed on just cuddling and, like, I knew that wasn't really what was going to happen. Okay, once you start cuddling. He did, too. R- what? He did, too. He did, too, right? So why even play, like, oh, I want this to be some relationship thing? Like, uh, no, you you want a random hookup. So I feel like we should read some of these. Uh, these are actual messages from uh, Grinder right now. Um, some random guy. How are you doing? Message sent. Sends, sends me a picture. Do you like to be rimmed? Take chances, he says. Uh, hello, how are you? Sup tonight? These guys have no creativity. Wow. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's, there's yeah. nothing interesting there. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing any of these guys. My dick is eight inches long. What about him? Welcome back. We've got Allie Havens. Hi there. AllieHavens.com. That's right. And how gay are you? Well, we were just talking about that, and I don't know what the metric we're using to uh, measure. Zero to gayness. seven. Isn't, it, isn't zero. it zero to six? Sure. The Kinsey scale? Yes. And it's how much you're attracted to the opposite gender. So zero would be I'm not attracted to females yeah, you're at totally all. Yeah, straight. And seven would be I'm a complete lesbian, not attracted to males at yeah, all. Or six. Yeah, I guess, something like that. Right. Yeah. Okay. Gold star lesbian, yeah. Okay. That's that's when you've never had sex with a a guy. I actually think I'm a gold star lesbian. Holla. Yeah. Good for you. I'm a gold star gay. Nice. What does gold star mean? It means you haven't never. had sex with the, the other gender that's the one that you don't have sex with. Like so I've never had sex with a girl. I'm a gold okay. star gay. So what do, where do you fall on the Kinsey scale then? Total gay. So you're you're zero? I'm not interested. Yeah, in the last segment, no, you were asking six, me about, be, you know, a, a guy putting his hands on me. And what if a woman came up to you and started? That has started happened. Okay, so I, I get what you're saying about being just a sexual being because there, there, I have been sexually stimulated by women in the past. Like many individuals. What, how do you I, define sexual? Is it in the In college, I dabbled in heterosexuality. Hmm. 
and uh, it was good. But it was not relationship material. It's not like I wanted to, like, I didn't want, I wanted to be friends with these girls. I didn't want to be, like, boyfriend, girlfriend. Mm. I have an exciting story I've never told on air before. So I'd Ooh. love to, I've never been on Flaming Freedom before, so I'd love to tell it. Let it out. On Fre- Flaming Freedom for the first time I've ever been on the show, which is that my gay friend growing up, I I have this perception of, of gay men in in that, they really aren't interested in, you know, pussy or anything like that. Right. But boobies, like, who doesn't like that, right? Like, no one can escape the... Yeah, Dale doesn't. I don't really desi- like boobies. Really? Okay. Yeah, sorry. Because my gay friend growing up, he and I used to play the, you know, archetypal game Doctor. of play, uh, hide the whatever it is. Oh, no. Really? And he loved to, like, feel me up type thing. Okay. He loved to feel my breasts and everything. And he wanted to see what he was missing out. Yeah, of. yeah, and he he liked that. Like he obviously like got off on it. And wow. so um But he was gay. It, I found out later that he he calls himself gay. He likes gay men. He doesn't re- want relationships like sexual or romantic relationships with women. He's not interested in that. But at that time or whatever he was interested in boobies no that is really common apparently there are a lot of gay guys i know some gay guys who will say i am totally gay never been with a girl not interested but they'll love feeling up boobs and it doesn't make any sense it's like it 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 would if for some reason i it just doesn't make any sense because it you know boobies are something that's specific to females i know men have Have nipples and they have all the things, but I've they don't seen, have right. some fat boobies there. on men. Yeah, but I'm I've, I've seen, that. but I don't think that's generally it's considered not. attractive. No, it's no. not. No, no. So, but I do love a man's chest, like when it's a nice built yeah. chest. Like we were looking at Justin Bieber's chest earlier. That was nice. Is he as nice? Mm-hmm. He is does he? now. Yeah, he just got built. Oh, yeah. Um, just in time for his roast. So, <laughs> you, uh, where do you measure up on the Kinsey scale? So, a scale of one to seven. Seven is the most gay. Yeah. One is the most straight. Yeah. I would say I'm probably, I'm definitely on the straighter side. So, I would say two to three. Do you watch porn? Somewhere in there. Yeah. Not all girls do. See, but if you looked at my porn searches, it would definitely suggest more lesbian. But that's not more. That's not so much about my preferences. It's more about pornography and the way it's depicted in heterosexual situations. I don't appreciate that from a female perspective. If you it think was it's too more, demeaning or something, it just feels like like I just find myself looking at heterosexual porn and being like, oh no, I don't like that. Yeah, like don't hurt her. That seems too mean <laughs> you know what oh, i mean oh yeah and lesbians they're too rough or something lesbians seem so like into it and like um they're not gonna hurt each other i, I saw some movie where they were depicting what actors f- uh what their feelings are about during doing certain scenes and even straight female actors would prefer to do female scenes like in this movie they were like can we do a lesbo scene because it just was easier for them. Just like the acting was easier. And I could see how that would be more fun if I was looking at sex as purely a professional thing. But I, I think that that translates into the performance. And so therefore I prefer to see lesbians having a good time than seeing a man having a good time with a woman who is obviously not having a good time. I see you and your boyfriend engaging in PDA, public displays of affection a lot. Oh, did you catch I that? I like that. <laughs> I wish there was so much more PDA in the world uh, because it's an expression of love and, you know, caring and it's it's a lo- nice, happy, loving thing to do and I just want more of that in the world. Um, were you always uh, so open about kissing your boyfriends? Um, yeah, I, I guess I've never really... I never really thought about like what will other people think of this. That's something you get punished for in shul. Well, so I, I remember when I was um, senior of high school, we went to France, and I remember seeing an old couple making out on a park bench there, and thinking about uh-huh. how that would not be something you would normally see in New York. Wait, were they making out? Like they were. Ma- it was in Paris, and they were making out. And it, it whatever you're thinking, well, I can tell you're a little disgusted. It I'm wasn't like old that. Old people like it was groping cute. each other. It's it was gross. It was adorable. But I remember other people on the tour bus I was on, which gives you some perspective of 
yeah. this trip I did to Paris. Yeah. Um, they were like, oh, people making out in public, gross. And I was like, no, that's Paris. cool. Yeah. Like, I see lots of people doing things in public that are much less inspiring. And it, it, it just. Yeah, people could hock a loogie. Yeah. Down on the floor and people yeah. wouldn't bat an eyelash at that. Yeah, but, people could be like oh, no, defecating people, in public in New York and people like, oh, well, that's New York. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'd rather <laughs> be in a place like out. Paris where you're making out in public. I, I just, I think that's better. And when I see people being affectionate in public, I just go, oh. I like that. It's so that sweet. You're normalizing that. Yeah. You said you watched some lesbian porn. Uh, can you help our yeah, friend it, Lauren does here? Does it exist? Where is this lesbian porn? I don't think and, it's real. Uh, Porn? Yeah, oh, her you complaint mean is like that actual lesbian porn? No, not I just, think not just most, straight women having most sex of with each the other. in quotes quotations lesbian porn I watch probably isn't with real lesbians, right? Mm. So I'll take whatever hits I get from that from lesbians, but I just prefer that in that I can buy into the idea that the woman's actually enjoying it, yeah, than I can from any heterosexual porn. Yes, it seems like they would be more gentle to each other like yeah. what you were saying before about uh you feel bad for the women in heterosexual porn i could kind of see that because i'm into some rough porn myself and like oh they the way they destroy some of those twinks is like what <laughs> 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 so you know i want sorry yeah no hey and, you know and, and it's not even nice. i know that it's not Leave just me because i remember being in uh i remember being in high school and talking with my other friends and we all had boyfriends and we were like yeah we much prefer lesbian porn like that's what we we're all into and it didn't as far as i know from my perspective it didn't create any weirdness it wasn't like oh you're in a lesbian porn does that mean you're into me like in some kind of weird homophobic creepy way it was just like you know well yeah that's what you know that's what girls watch nowadays we 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 like to see that so everyone in manchester it seems is polyamorous and they like maybe they move to Keen, move from Keene and then move to Manchester and then they have 5,000 girlfriends. Not Dale and I. Not Dale and you are uniamorous, yes. right? Okay. And I want to know, uh, are, are, you, are, are you polyamorous? Do you have multiple relationships? No, no I'm attracted I'm just, to that at all or you, that turns you off? I understand the appeal of it, but it's the... It, it, with anything there's cost and there's benefit and cost analysis wow, and you put a lot of thought into that well i've only put thought into it because because i want to relate to any any anytime i understand a concept that someone who i can actually see in person um holds you know like someone who's polyamorous then i'm trying to like relate to them so i can relate to the idea of like well i love this person and i can see myself being attracted to others like yeah. i can see my you know i can imagine myself in relationships with other people besides the person i'm with but i just much oh. prefer the person i'm with right. like a lot more <laughs> so i can understand that and yeah it would be and this is no like i'm not saying i'm against polyamory but I just, I can't see how it would be beneficial to anyone in the relationship to invite more sexual partners in. That's, I'm with you. It yeah. seems like it would demean the relationship. And I wish we could get some someone who's poly on the show to really you, talk about it. You will. <laughs> uh, eventually we yeah, will. Yeah, there, there's plenty around. Yeah, yeah I there's, know. There's like, there's like a huge it's pool It's everyone to in Manchester, from. it seems. Yeah. Yeah. Well, shit. That music means it's the end. It is. Damn it. Well, we barely scratched well, the surface, Allie. You'll have to have me on again. I'd love that uh, if we can ask more questions. I'd like to talk anal, but we'll get we'll get to that. This well, is one day. <laughs> one day we'll, we'll uh, reach that, <laughs> that uh, milestone. Uh. And freedom. What, what, we, we lost the music for a second. <laughs>